Welcome back to another video. Thanks for, for checking in with us. Hope you have an amazing day. So today's video, um, I think I mentioned it on a previous one. We're gonna uh, go through all our kit that we take when we go wild camping. So obviously with the pocket rocket, we can't travel light. She needs to be warm. She needs all the, all the gear and um, that comes at a quite a significant weight so each one of these is 120 litres um, they probably weigh in the region of 20 kilos each so you're not gonna be hiking any sort of distance with those on your back um, yeah put your marshmallows in good girl so yeah I'm gonna go through all our kit show you what we take when we go um, on our wild camps um, I'll, I'll put links in the, the description below. Uh, so if you are interested, I'm, I'm not any sort of affiliate marketer or anything like that, so I'm not sponsored. Um, it's just the kit that I've chosen to, to buy and, and use on our, our, um, our little adventures together. So, so, first thing I'll show you is the tent that we use. So it's, uh, it's a one tigress um, rock fortress hot tent. So. It's a brilliant bit of kit. Uh, you can have an internal stove. I'll show you that being set up uh, shortly. So we'll set this up. I'll show you that being done. And then we'll get inside this and go through the rest of the contents of those bad boys. Catch up with you in a bit. all set up as I say it's the the one tigress rock fortress tent uh, I'll just quickly show you some of the the features actually so it's down here you can see all around the edge they've got snow skirts so it's snowy weather we've had some snow recently but I missed it I was away on a business trip to Switzerland came back and it all thawed great um, but yeah that's that's one of the plans to, to get out in the snow in there so that's one feature i really like so you pull the snow up and it stops drafts coming in under underneath um another key feature really is the uh fire jack so that's where the the chimney of the the stove comes out um really good quality really really well made tent uh there's a double zip so you can unzip from the top increase the ventilation at night also one at the bottom so let's have a quick look in shall we so here you can see bags and bags of room in there one center pole and that's all there is to it really so if we come inside I'm not entirely sure of the dimensions actually. I'll put them right about here when I, uh, I uh, double check to see what they are. So loads of room. So I can stand up here. Um, I'm fairly vertically challenged. So I'm only five foot nine, uh, but if you can see, 
I can't reach the, the top of the top of the tent, top of the pole there. So loads and loads of headroom. This is the, the fire jack. So this is a fireproof material. Chimney of the, the stove goes out there. So I'm gonna get the rest of the kit in. There's the pocket rocket, come to help. Uh, get Yeah, get the rest of the kit in here. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk you through all the gear that we take on camps. tripod isn't it so we've got got all the gear in and I'll just unpack everything I'll probably set stuff up so you can see it all, all set up and stuff um, yeah let's have a look shall we so I've got a, a small fold away table show you that being set up I'll show all of it being set up actually so uh, camp beds so raises them off off the, uh, the floor especially in the winter the you lose so much heat through through the floor. Um, so one of those each. They've got some serious weight to them. Um, extra little saw, an axe, processing kindling and firewood down. Some tongs when we're cooking. Mini little ch chopping board. Few bits and pieces in the bottom, extra pen knife, never know what's in there. So in here, <laughs> essential luxury toilet roll. Uh, some chunks of fat wood, always lumps of uh, fat wood kicking about. So in these side pockets here, this is the portable fire. You've seen, seen that a number of times now already. Uh, this one, <laughs> are you still eating them? Mm -hmm. So in this pocket, I've got one of my knives, this is the, the main knife I use. Uh, flint and steel, fire starting kit, I think you've seen that on a recent video. More fatwood, never far away for a load of fatwood in my, my gear, some extra tongs. Trendy likes flipping burgers and stuff on there. It's quite interesting actually, so it's just a tin. Uh, and it's got loads of um, just pieces of square cotton, pure cotton, and that's what you use to make char cloth. So then so just clipped on the front with carabiners, we've got sporks. Get them from any outdoor shop. Um, and then this Pot panel here. So this is my wood carving tools. Um, it's always nice to, if you've got a lump of wood, just whittle a spoon or make a little cup uh, around the campfire when, you, when you're, you're camping. Um, these, it's quite interesting. These are found grown on dead ash and dead wood or burnt wood. So these are called crumples. Uh, they're also called King Alfred cakes or coal fungus, take your pick, loads of names for them. They're really, really good. You just pull them off there and they can catch a spark and, and glow and burn for a long, long time. Um, old school, traditional fire starting tool. Right? So I'll show that in another video probably. But yeah, cramp balls. This is just a Tupperware box full of cooking bits and pieces really so I'll show you here so got some oil for cooking some thyme garlic I really like my coffee so I've got some 
some quite fancy barista uh, style coffee pouches really. Yeah, I just really like their coffee. Uh, getting them from all over the world to their Guatemala, Brazil, Colombia, Costa Rica. I've just had one from Ethiopia actually, really good. Spot on, so yeah, always have some decent coffee with me. This is just full of salt, pepper, ketchup, tons of ketchup. Trini can't get enough of ketchup, can you pop it? No. Um, some really nice hot chocolates for Trini. Um, some coffees for in the morning. So yeah, just some condiments really. Um, always good to have. And the last thing in here is some stock cubes. So some North stock cubes. Uh, always handy for when you're cooking on the fire, if you're making a stew or something. Yeah. That's bag number one. Let's have a look at the next one. Bag number two. Let's see what we've got in here. So, got these uh, pots of noodles. Always, if you're knackered and you've been prepping firewood or, you know, setting the camp up and you just need a, a quick and easy meal, always have a couple of those handy. It's a uh, vegetable steamer that we use on the raised fire. That's a little saw. I think you've seen that on previous videos. Always handy to when you're chopping up your firewood and branches to burn. These are pretty cool. So these are there's some little lanterns. So battery powered, activated when you extend them, go off, and you we really sort of hang them up in here for at night time when we're making stuff and cooking or making a hot chocolate so yeah really good uh two of them so the next thing is the cooking pots so there's two pots for cooking heating water two little cups two small plates plates are, plates are a bit of a waste of time really well, not even the size of a saucer so but yeah they're, they're handy to have <laughs> this three guesses what this is used for <laughs> What's this used for, Trudy? It's for digging and it's like a hole. A hole? So digging holes. Why would you need to dig a hole on a wild camp? To poop in. To what? To poop in. Definitely. So, yeah, we dig our own holes. Um, because we don't have any toilets. We don't have any toilets out in the middle of nowhere, do we? So that's really handy. It's a dual tool as well, so it's a little pick. So it's like a hole uh, as well. And a spade. Exactly, pop it. What's that? Uh, frying pan. Great bit of kit, so thin, slides in the back of your pack. More tongs. Trini likes these everywhere, see? They're very handy for tweaking the, the centre pole, aren't they, pop it? Yeah. Uh, fold away chair. Uh, this is a fire guard so if we have a campfire outside just a little one this sort of surrounds the fire and protects it from the wind and stops it burning through your your wood too quickly um stops embers blowing onto your your tent as well so yeah just a little fire guard what's handy to have uh, cooking mesh so it's what we put on the fire put our bacon on i think we did on the one of the recent videos Sleep, sleeping bag. This is a one or two uh, season bag, so really only good for the summer or maybe springtime. I tend to sleep in that. Another fold away chair. So we've got a Trini sleeping bag, so she's got a three season bag. Uh, it is, yes, it's pink, your favourite colour, isn't it? So. Trini's got, yeah, a little bit of extra warmth and protection with a three season bag. Um, this is a little bow saw. So I'll show you that in a bit. Um, what else have we got in here? In the side pocket. It's a little, little sleep system. So inflatable that goes on the, the folding camp beds. Should be the same on the other side, one for each of us. Yeah, there's another one for Trini. Uh, what else 
else have we got? So, little pocket here. This is a dry bag, really good. Keeps all your stuff bone dry. So if we're kayaking, uh, sick with phone in there, keys, um, bat spare batteries. Yeah, really good to have a dry bag. I think that's four or five liters. Decent heavy duty headlamp. I tend to use that. Um, we've got a few of them kicking about, I think. Here, yeah, it's like a general all purpose survival pack, really. So, <laughs> let's say, show you what's in here. Oh, I'm leaking. Even with both the doors open, it's, uh, it's quite warm in here. So, yeah, as I say, I'll put links to all the kit in the description below. So this is it's just an all-purpose, really useful bit of kit. So it's got tons of stuff in. Let's have a little look. So another knife. Never have too many knives. <laughs> um, headlamp. Uh, Trini normally uses this or this one. So always got plenty of headlamps. Is it mine or yours? That's not you. You've got your own one. Why don't yeah. you go and get your one to show the guys? Uh, all purpose multi tool. Great bit of kit. Uh, loads of loads of tools in there. Um, so we've got that. Emergency blanket. So if you're ever caught in, you know, really life threatening conditions, uh, freezing temperatures, that really protects and. and preserves your, your body heat so you can huddle together wrap and wrap, wrap up together in that it's a military grade um, compass so yeah really 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 good quality compass that always keep that handy <laughs> more fatwood and then this these pouches here so I've got a general uh, first aid kit so bandages gauze tape surgical gloves pins all sorts of essential uh, safety gear got some spare batteries in there for the head head torches and then here the fire starting gear so you've seen this before the ferrocerium ferro rod uh, another Another one here. I'm going to keep this as okay. a surprise. And then this is just a little novelty survival saw. If you, you haven't you lost your saw or something, um, you use it with your fingers. The uh, the wire here cuts through the, the little branches. So yeah, I'll probably try that out one day. That's all there is to it. So yeah, this is my main knife that I use. Uh, you've seen it loads before, so. Just, yeah, really, not relatively cheap, so um, it's just a good all-purpose all knife. And actually, what have you got to say about knives, Trini? I have my own. Trini's got a very own, so this is like a daddy-daughter knife combo. So you show the guys your knife, Trini. So it's got a pointy thing to protect your Protect your hands from the point and look, show, show the guys your gloves. So, with little people, when I was looking for, um, so, you know, like a, a big and a small uh, knife combo, um, and then I was looking for some cut proof gloves. So, um, strangely enough, they don't sell cut proof kids' gloves. So, I had to get the smallest adult size I could find. Just for the little people, it's, you know, really really sharp blade um and it's just it just allows trini to get involved with the the wood preparation and preparing the kindling and wood shavings for for campfires so show the guys close up your knife trini and your gloves a little bit closer let's do this <laughs> that's brilliant and then dad's is here it's more smaller. <laughs> Good girl. Great job.
perfect. <laughs> oh, it could. And then, I, and, I, and then I was like this, I'm going to change my way. Yeah, it's good. You always got to be careful with your knife, haven't you? Even though you've got cut proof gloves, you always got to be careful. All right, so we've also got a foil mat. This is good for reflecting your, your body heat back um, up so you don't lose it either through the camp bed or the floor. So yeah, you'll see that in set up in a bit. So we've got one of those each. Um, other stuff we've got, so it's either or, so we don't take a ton of sleeping bags. If it's middle of winter, we take these. We've got two of these. These are army release um, duck down um, sleeping bags. So. You can essentially sleep in very, very, very cold conditions, even outdoors. You can sleep sleep under the stars in these. Um, they're one hundred percent four season, <laughs> four season uh, sleeping bags. Um, and yeah, we either use my one strike two season sleeping bag or Trini's three season sleeping bag if it's you know mild weather. But these bad boys get involved when it's um, it's proper cold. So yeah. Keep nice and warm with these. And so, yeah, we don't take these away every time, but if we buy water, I always like to, for some reason, we're, we're drawn to water, aren't we? We love, love being in, on, or near water. So whether it's a lake, a river, or the sea. Check our fishing gear. So it's got a new reel for the, Big uh, telescopic. What's this one? This is uh, it's a beach caster. So yeah, again, links in in the description below. Um, this is a tiny telescopic fishing rod. Uh, Trinity tends to use this one. Got all our uh, laws and uh, extra line, all all the bits and pieces in there. Um, take that with us just a tiny telescopic landing net as well. So the last thing in this bag, I think, yeah, we've, we've sorted everything else out, is the stove. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. So it's quite a snug fit, but it fits absolutely perfectly in that, in that bottom section. All folds away, you can, essentially have um, a heat source, safe heat source, uh, chimney through the, the fire jack, through the, the top of the tent, keeps you nice and warm throughout the evening. Um, you can heat up your water and your hot chocolate, your coffee, and even cook your bacon in, in the morning on it. So I'll show you that being set up. Um, absolutely love it. Really, really great bit of kit. So this is the stove. I'll show you this being set up. It's pretty simple actually. I can't tell you how much I love this. You don't really get a great deal of sleep through the night in really, really cold nights because you're constantly having to, you know, fuel it up and stick more, more wood on. So when you buy it, again, the, the link in the description, um, I don't know why they provide it with, I think it's a 1.2 meter chimney. Unless you're sleeping in a hobbit tent, it, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not venting the, the smoke away. So I ordered an extension chimney as well. So that, that more than adequate, great clearance at, at the top of the tent. So I'll show you that as well. So it's always best to put these on because some of the edges of this uh, can be quite sharp. So just if it's getting it. I actually bought two extensions, but a bit overkill that is. So, let's bring you down here actually. That's better. See what's going on now. So, let's get all the bits out. Um, 
this goes in here just to allow some uh, some airflow. Uh, some fire needs some airflow under there. The door there, so the handle screws on like that. front like that, just clips on, oh. uh, and then these, some side plates, same again this side, so this is, uh, you can rest your, uh, your cup or your plate, um, and then you've got the top there and then this chimney extends right up here yeah <laughs> that's the extension quickly show you one of the camp bags being set up. There we go. Great level of clearance. So, uh, maybe a foot. Just makes all the difference when in the cold weather. Uh, get off that cold ground. Good job. And this just goes on here like this. Then we have the, the sleep mat. Sleep mat and the uh, sleep foil, they're not really essential when you have the, uh, the camping bed because you're off the ground anyway, but just for belt and braces we're trimming really. So it's a little bit overkill, but that's the way we do it. Hey, Papa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Hey. Showing these guys our sleep system. So, normally what we do is we've got these anti-slip meshes so I tend to put these on here and that way you're not sliding off all over the place in the middle of the night so that is that's really really good to go so last but not least the sleeping bag So it's, uh, it's one to two seasons, so pretty lightweight, you know, not the best thermal insulation properties, but um, it does the job, you know, with, with the, the uh, full mat, the sleeping mat, the sleeping bag, uh, and the stove inside the tent, you know, you, you 
pretty toasty really in, in any sort of weather. Um, when it's sub-zero, we tend to roll out the, uh, the military grade uh, sleeping bags. Um, yeah, sleeping system done. So, quickly show you the football table being set up. That's just handy to get your pots and your goodies and your, your food and stuff. Handy bit of kit. So while I've got the table set up, I might as well show you the, the bow saw. Um, quite a handy compact little saw this actually. Uh, all folds away into its own tube. So you unscrew one end. Blade, two side handles there, and the main grips there. So these go in like that. What? Blade fits in those slots like that. Here. Bingo. And then it just screws on the end here. That goes under tension. It stretches this these two arms outwards by pulling these ends inwards and you've got a taut blade and then off you go and saw your dead tree branches a little bit of kit that I use sometimes when we have a external fire so if we're sat out outside the tent with a fire on the ground oh, sometimes use that so just a just a fire guard so essentially surrounds the fire if you have wind coming from this direction it stops you burning through your, your wood in a matter of minutes because high winds you really get through your wood so this reduces your wood consumption stops your uh, stops your embers flying everywhere uh, you, that's the last thing you need hot embers landing on your tent it's not very waterproof with the the holy tent <laughs> so that's pretty much most of the gear that we tend to take with us on our camps isn't it Trini? Mm -hmm. um thanks so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it um and, it, and if you want to subscribe it's okay and if you want to like it's okay and if you want to see if we do any more videos Click the bell icon. Good girl. That's perfect. It's okay if you don't want no, to. No, it's, like yeah, it's okay. It's, it's no problem, is it, Poppet? Mm -hmm. They can watch something else, can't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, I'm not going to show you the stove fired up, um, everything set up. It's just really showing you the kit that we use. Yeah, we'll come back another time, show you a proper, proper wild camp, probably semi-wild. Um, uh, we tend to do proper wild camping in Scotland where it's legal, so um, yeah. Have a great day. Thanks again so much for watching. We appreciate it, don't we, Pop mm -hmm. It? And we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye. So I just went to get packed up, and someone who shall remain nameless has convinced her dad to have a little garden camp out this evening. So I wonder who that could be. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> You bet what? I bet my friends are watching this. I bet they are. Do you want to say hello to them? <laughs> <laughs>